Hello and welcome to this video on how to plot item characteristic curves for an IRT analysis in the Mplus software. My name is Christian Geiser, I'm an instructor and statistical consultant with Quantfish and on this channel I present weekly statistics tutorials usually related to multivariate statistical methods such as structural equation models, latent class models, multi-level models and other types of models. If this is something that interests you, then please subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to check out the description for a link to my free weekly statistics newsletter as well as other resources. In this video here, I want to show you how you can obtain a plot of the item characteristic curves in M plus when you run an IRT model. And so as an example, I'm using a simple rush model or one parameter logistic model that I fit to four items with this M plus syntax here that you can see um, below and you can see that um, in this model statement here the model is specified in the same way in M plus as you would specify a factor model. The difference here is that since the variables have been defined as categorical and since we've chosen the estimator maximum likelihood, M plus will use a um, logistic link function to link the items to the underlying continuous latent trait variable. And so in other words, then this is an IRT model. And since all the factor loadings here have been fixed to one, or we could say have been set equal in that way, it will be a rush model or one parameter logistic model in which the items can only differ with regard to their item difficulty or location parameter, but, in, but where the item characteristic curves will all have the same slope. So there's no difference in item discrimination in the discrimination parameter in this case here. So this is how you specify a, an IRT model in the M plus software, you define your items as categorical and then M plus will determine whether they are binary or ordered categorical based on your data file. And by choosing maximum likelihood estimation, M plus will then use an IRT model or logistic link function to um, link the, late, the latent trait variable or continuous latent variables with the observed items. Now, how do you get your item characteristic curves? I already ran this syntax, so this is already the output file for that one parameter logistic model. And you can see that I had included the plot option here, type equals plot three. And so under this option type equals plot three with an IRT model, you automatically then get the item characteristic curves in addition to other types of plots. And so once you got your output, if everything went right, then you can click on plot and then view plots. And so here you find different types of plots. Some are more descriptive in nature and then some are related to the IRT model. Here you can find the item characteristic curves in the list. And so you click on that and then you click on view. And so then you can choose whether you want to see the item characteristic curve for a single item, so a plot um, for just one item or an, a plot with multiple items or a plot with all items. And so that's what I'm going to choose here right now so that we can compare the item characteristic curves across the four items. Next. And then you can decide which category you would like to plot. In this case, I'm going to use the second category. The items that were used here were binary items of a spatial ability test where a score of zero indicates that an item was not correctly solved and a score of the second category, score of one, indicates that the item was solved. And so it makes sense to plot the second category, the solution probability as a function of the latent trait variable, a latent trait score. And so that's the default here too, that the second category will be plotted. So notice that if you had um, polydamous items, so more than two categories, then of course this would be more relevant because then you would want to look at not just the second category, but um, also other categories. And so then next, then you can choose the range in which the um, plot is 
depicted on or the range on the x-axis in that plot. So I'm just gonna go with the defaults here. Right now, you can also see that M plus here provides some information about the latent trait variable. You can see the mean is centered. So the mean here is zero. The standard deviation is 1.2 on this latent trait. And so then that you can use that information to select your range here. I'm gonna hit next. And then um, this is something with that we can also just skip or go with the go with the default because in this case we don't have any uh, covariate values here and so we can just click finish and so then you get your ICC plot for the four items you can see here the latent trait variable scores are on the x-axis and so this variable has been centered so the mean is zero and on the y-axis you have the probability or item solution probability from zero to one. You can see that the first item SCR1 and the second item SCR2 are the ones that are easier, the easiest items in the set, their item characteristic curves or item, the item locations are um, the ones that are farthest on the left hand side whereas SRC, SCR3, excuse me, and SCR4, those two items here are the more difficult ones where they are shifted towards the right. You can see that all item characteristic curves here are parallel, and so that's because this is a rush model or one parameter logistic model where it is implied that the item characteristic curves all have the same steepness or slope. So the slope parameter here is implicitly set equal across the items so that the items can only differ with regard to their difficulty or item location. If you had fit a two parameter logistic model, then those item characteristic curves would not have to be parallel. So then they could differ in their slopes and you could plot that in the same way as here um, the plot for um, the rush model. So this is how you can get this plot in M plus for the item characteristic curves. I hope you found this useful to learn a little bit more about how IRT works in M plus. If you're more interested in how to conduct item response theory analyses in M plus, Quantfish offers a very comprehensive workshop on IRT with M plus that you can find in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to hit the like button and I'll see you next week.